Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, hello again, and thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art and I are with our favorite philosopher, Bill Jordan, our baby boomer. Hey, guys. Hey, how thanks you for doing? having me back. Pardon? I have a question for you, uh, Bill. Yes. Um, we've been in COVID semi-lockdown, certainly new way of living for a year. Uh, has that, uh, what kind of effects has that had on the way you, you, uh, your outlook on life and, or the way you've changed things or the way you think you're going to change things in the future? Have you thought about the profound effects that it, it, it's had upon you? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it because it didn't take long for me to figure it out. Um, the other day, Facebook has a feature called Memories, and I'll click on that to see what happened, you know, going back, I selected to 2012, so when I got on Facebook, on that date. And the other day was the anniversary when I posted some stuff that was going on in North Carolina or in Raleigh, and it was talking about a 30-day lockdown a year ago for restaurants and here's what would be open, you know, car washes, but restaurants were going to be closed, coffee shops, hair, you know, hairstylists and stuff for 30 days. And that became basically a year. Things yeah. are slowly starting to come about. And when, when we first went into this, being semi-retired and doing voiceover primarily, but being able to do it from my home, it wasn't like I was traveling a lot or going to and from a job every day. So it wasn't really affecting my life to that large a degree. What I have found since, from those rare occasions when I will go out and meet a friend for coffee or we meet to you know borrow something or whatever, um, I miss face-to-face, -face, human contact with friends and family far more than I thought I would because I always label myself as an introvert when in truth I am an ambivert. I can be extroverted when I need to be and I, can, I am typically though an introvert because I, I recharge my batteries in solitude and silence. If you recharge your batteries when you're around a lot of people and gregarious, that's how you recharge your batteries, then you're an extrovert. But I've not seen my brother who's in a dementia unit about an hour south of me. I've not seen him, his wife, his daughter, nobody has seen him, have been able to see him for over a year. Wow. Can't do it. Um, just, but when I see people, and, and I encourage friends, and I've made posts about this, about, you know, texts are great, phone calls are, are better because you're hearing the voice, you're hearing laughter, but it's the face-to-face, -face, the smile-to-smile, -smile, the laugh-to-laugh -laugh stuff that I really do miss. Uh, Michael Buble is one of our favorite artists. We've seen him a bunch of times, and he was supposed to be in Raleigh last March postponed to this March, this March postponed until this August. And I have my doubts as to whether it'll be open and up enough for, you know, 12, 15,000 people to show up in a closed, you know, arena, uh, the local, the big, the big place in, in Raleigh, uh, whether they're going to say that you can do that or not. Things are opening up, but I do find the biggest thing for me is maybe what it is for everybody. It's not going out to a restaurant. It's not going out to a movie. It's not going out to a concert. It is going out with people. Yeah. You know, uh, Bill, I think this is the same problem that people have been expressing about the schools. Um, y you know, the, the, sometimes the uh, cure is worse than the, than the disease, if you will. Um, and, and they're saying that kids um, are being negatively affected by not being able to go to school, partly for the same reasons you're talking about, and that is human contact, uh, social interaction. Um, and, and from what I hear, they're saying kids are now getting depressed and they're, you know, the incidence of suicide has gone up and a whole bunch of things. So I, I think you're absolutely right on the money. Um, well, that's across the whole strata. That's kids and adults. I mean, I, I, sure. think, they have, I think they have shown that 
Depression is up in adults. Um, substance abuse, whether that be alcohol or drugs, is on the rise. Um, the suicidal stuff. I mean, there has been this has been crushing. And yeah. the stimulus checks, if you need them, that's great. Um, but you know, when you get a fourteen hundred dollar check, but you've been out of work for over a year, I mean, it, it's a help, but yeah. man, people are really, really struggling. You know something? Yeah. Um, uh... When I've talked to the doctors that I've talked about, and I don't want to get into a debate about this, but just as a, a point of view from doctors, that you, you don't sequester or you don't quarantine healthy people. Well, That's... you know, I have to I have to say that. Well, uh, I've experienced many of the same things, and in fact, I do miss. Uh, uh, just an interchange with uh, somebody at a coffee shop, uh, picking up the thing and, and uh, having a, a bit of conversation and, and seeing their reactions be beyond their eyes. Uh, I, I will tell you that uh, I thought about uh, the same subject and as much as it's difficult and different than we're used to, think about back 100 years to that other pandemic that we, we talk about, the Spanish uh, flu, and people didn't have internet. They couldn't stay connected. They just got together and 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 uh, infected each other, even worse, and spread it around. So we, there are a lot of advantages I see, and also uh, we've had through Zoom family meetings, uh, more people attend from more places in the world than could have ever gotten together uh, because we're using Zoom. So that has been a, a very positive uh, side of it all. So uh, I don't go away thinking this whole thing is just negative, although I agree with all, of, I, I miss that, that interchange that you talk about. So uh, I think it's a mixed bag and uh, hopefully within the next six, eight, nine months, it'll pretty be much back to normal. But I don't, you know, after uh, the last uh, epidemic, uh, we had the roaring 20s. So I wonder if we're going to go hog wild the other way uh, for that. Yeah. No, I think I think you're exactly right, Art. Of course you are. Um, <laughs> it, 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 it truly is perspective. If we look for positives in this, then we will find the positives. If you want to dwell on the negatives, th there will be negatives. But there have been both. Um, <clears throat> I think for businesses, they're going to find out that maybe they don't need brick and mortar establishments. I think a lot of people with working at home that might streamline things. I, I don't know. But I will tell you this. Uh, and And... You know, people, uh, friends of mine are talking about the COVID-19 and what they're talking about is kind of like the freshman 15. They're talking about gaining 19 pounds during COVID. I saw an article the other day that on average, uh, an American male, adult male, is gaining a pound and a half a month. It's like a 25-pound weight gain. Wow. For a lot of people, some are 35 pounds they've gained in the last year. For me... When we went into this, and I adopted this uh, attitude that I heard somebody say, if, and we have no idea still when it, the whole thing's going to lift, but when COVID ends, if I am not lighter, stronger, and smarter than I was before, then it never really was about not having the time, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Good point. Well, look, it's just another one of life's trials, right? Yep. Nobody... Nobody knows what life is going to throw at you. Uh, this this got thrown at us from China. Thank you very much. And um, we got to deal with it. We got to deal with it. I think, quite frankly, as Art pointed out, technology allows us to deal with it a lot easier than it was 100 years ago. And also technology has given us the ability to come up with a vaccine within a year. So there's some amazing positive things not that the COVID is positive, but some amazing positive things that came out of it. Sure. Well, kind of like, right. kind of like Tang came out of the space race. <laughs> oh, yeah. was it? Tang came out of that negative thing called the space race, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Was it Aesop? You know, Aesop's fables. Was it Aesop that said, you know, necessity is the mother of invention? Did he say Somebody that? Said it. Somebody said it, and it's proven to be true. Again, as you point out, with the uh, yeah. people adapting to this. Yeah. Uh, and also with a vaccine coming out in record time. Well, I like your friend's quote uh, coming out smarter. And uh, I don't know that I'm going to come out thinner, but I'm going to come out smarter. Well, I've, I'm down about 13 pounds. Good nice. for you. 
Not since not since COVID, but since from my mouth. Some since COVID, I'm down uh, six. Wow, hmm. something like that. Well, I and, I can attest to the fact that your averages that you were talking about, I'm right in that range. <laughs> so uh, uh, so, but the one wonderful thing about all of this is it gives this whole period of pandemic has given us all a those of us of a certain age, more time to embrace the boom. Amen. He's just getting slicker and slicker with these segues, is he not? He is. All right, so here's the idea. Embrace the boom. I had somebody on my public Facebook page the other day say, what is this embrace the boom thing? Well, it's about baby boomers and living the best life we've got. I, I just don't think that as a baby boomer, even though society tends to write us off, um, and I think they have. I think there is ageism in society. We don't suppose, we're not supposed to talk about that, but I believe there is. I just think there's more to our lives than just uh, running out the clock. And I think we can get smarter. And I think we can get more, uh, maybe a little more philo philosophical. And I think we can lead calmer and more fulfilling lives even where we are. So I've got this movement that I've started called Embrace the Boom. I've got a YouTube channel. Look up it, Embrace the Boom. And I'm online at BillJordanEmbraceTheBoom.com. And the whole gist of it is to live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Embrace the boom. All right. I'm embraced. Bill, good to see you again. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. See you guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.